So yeah, what is meditation? Um, as a meditation teacher, this is something I ask myself very, very regularly. Um, and you know, the way that uh, Emily and I have come to teach meditation together, you know, we we have this sort of meta model of the six ways to meditate, uh, which isn't it, it's not it's not meant to be a totally exhaustive model. Like it includes everything. It just includes everything that we're familiar with and we've practiced and studied. Um, uh, which is a decent amount for two people to have done, but it's still it's um, it, it's really just meant to kind of provide an overarching way of organizing the different styles of practice and techniques that seem to have emerged primarily in the Buddhist wisdom tradition, but but also outside of that, it it, it seems to me that it um, this this model um, is useful in applying to other contemplative traditions as well. That there's similar kind of patterns that you tend to see emerge across traditions, you know, like for instance, concentration, being able to train attention on a single, single point. Um, it, I haven't run into a contemplative tradition yet um, that doesn't have some way of training attention in that way, in some basic way. Um, and likewise with heartfulness, you know, the heart, heart-based practices, there seem like a lot of the traditions, maybe all the traditions that I've studied um, have some kind of practices related to opening the heart. Um, so this model is meant to be kind of broad and inclusive, but it does bring up this interesting questions. If you're dividing meditation into these different ways, like what is meditation exactly? Is it something that's, uh, there are these separate different ways to meditate or is there just one thing called meditation? Um, or is it some kind of both and, uh, answer? And I, I tend to think it's both and, but, um, but what is it? And and one of the ways we can explore what it is is through inquiry practice, which is one of the ways to meditate. So we can explore what meditation is through meditating. Um, and inquiry practice, as I think you all know, is, is it's a way of meditating where we use a question as a prompt for deeper discovery about our own and each other's, in this case, social inquiry experience. So the broader technique that this is an application of is called, what is it? What is it? Um, and the it that we're going to explore is meditation. Here I want to share a quote from Chekyam Trungpa, where he talks a bit about meditation in a way that I think helps, for me, it helps incline the mind in the direction that, that I think this practice is, uh, tends to take me. In sitting meditation, the technique in you are one. In life situations, the phenomenal world is also part of you. Therefore, you do not have to meditate as such, as though you were a person distinct from the act of meditating and the object of meditation. If you are one with the living situation as it is, your meditation just automatically happens. So in a way, I'm, I'm kind of front-loading what I think the answer to the question is here. What is meditation? Um, but uh, in the inquiry practice, very much we're going to stay with the question because that's the, that's the, that is the practice, it's hanging out with the question, going deeper into the question. Yeah, great. Chekim Trungpa has a cool answer that's beautiful and elegant. Um, but that, that doesn't mean that is going to be the answer for, for each of us. Um, because our understanding of meditation evolves as we evolve. And then it's going to co-evolve in this practice. It's going to be something that evolves together. We're going to uh, be asking this question together. What is meditation? What is it? What is meditation? As meditators, um, if you identify as a meditator, then you know you're going to have ideas about what it is, and maybe those will come up uh, in this practice, uh, and maybe you'll question those ideas. I hope so. Uh, I hope you'll be willing to to not know what it is. Um, and the way this will work in terms of the actual structure and form of the practice is we'll we'll go into small groups uh, for the first part of the practice, uh, three to four people each, and we'll take about ten minutes to just take turns inquiring aloud, what is meditation? And here I, I find it's helpful in social inquiry practice to leave a little bit of space between questions. 
so that we can actually let the question ring through our awareness. If you need any kind of suggestions around that, I'd say I, I like to wait at least a half breath, you know, to to give it some space. And you can wait, you know, you can go longer than that if, if it feels appropriate. Um, in the second phase of the practice, we'll come back here and with whatever time we have left going up to the half, uh, halfway through the hour. Um, so that I don't know exactly how much time that'll be, but less than 10 minutes. Um, we'll switch into a spontaneous inquiry practice. And here the invitation is to either use the question, what is meditation? As you feel moved, you can ask that aloud. Or you can say, what is it? What is it? Either one is fine. And, and, and we'll, we'll move in the first round from a sequential order taking turns in the second round to a spontaneous inquiry. So as you feel moved, what is meditation? What is it? What is it? 